Howdy, Tinker Nerds. My oh my, do we find ourselves in an interesting time. Hope you're all staying safe and doing well. I myself, while in quarantine, am trying to balance daddy daycare with 3D printing face masks for our local emergency management team. All of a sudden we find ourselves in a world where family gatherings, social gatherings, work and school are now all done virtually through video chat. So hundreds of thousands of people that have never really had to use it before now find themselves thrust into the daunting world of video chatting. And the video chat software of choice? Zoom? Okay, be honest, before this pandemic happened, how many of you had ever heard of Zoom? So for all of you awkward newcomers to the video chatting community, consider this a public service announcement. These are my top five Zoom tips for beginners. Tip number one, one of the biggest faux pas when you're video chatting with a bunch of people is not knowing how to mute yourself when you're not talking. When you can hear every dog bark, every baby cry, slurp, and crunch. To mute yourself when you're not talking, you can click this button, and it's a similar button on iOS and Android. You can also click here to go into your settings and choose to mute yourself automatically when joining a meeting. There's also an option on desktops to press the space bar when you talk. So if you're muted, press and hold the space bar and it will unmute you. So Nodding Dog, what have you been working on today? Release the space bar and it will go back to being muted. Tip number two. Sometimes you may not want others to see what you're doing or you may not want them to see you at all. So you can click the video button to turn your video on and off at any time. And like the audio button, you can go into your video settings and choose to have it automatically enabled or disabled when joining a call. Oh, what's this setting? That eh, didn't really seem to do anything for me. Tip number three. If your dog is being really loud and you want to keep yourself muted, but you still want to show a reaction, you can send a couple of different emojis by using these buttons. Or you could even raise your hand if you were in a class-like environment and let the teacher call on you. Tip number four. There are a couple of different ways to view participants in Zoom. The default is speaker view where whoever is speaking is automatically at the forefront but by either clicking the gallery button or by swiping your mobile device screen left, you can switch to gallery view to view all the participants at once. And here we are at tip number five, the share button. This button allows you to share stuff, whether it be your screen, if you're on a desktop, a web page, a picture, or a cool feature called the whiteboard, where you can basically draw stuff. This is a great way to express thoughts, share notes, or maybe even play a virtual game of Pictionary. Well, that's it for this video. Be sure to subscribe or stay tuned to my channel for more quarantine tutorials.